So now we have a page of optimized content on the homepage. We now want to start link building. This is how we're really going to push that up. Google really signal to Google. This is a real business. This is a proper page that deserves to go at the top of page one. So for our very first backlinks, we're going to look at citations and a press release. So citations are basically listings in local business directories. There's really nothing special about them, but they do include mostly backlinks. All we really look for is the name, address, and phone number. So it doesn't actually have to include the URL, include the link, but a lot of them do, and that helps. There's still no follow links, so not a lot of power, but the point is they're very cheap. Those are services out there where they're signed up to all these platforms, so they can very easily post your listing on all these business directories. But crucially, that name, address, and phone number is a clear signal to Google. Again, you're this genuine local bricks and mortar business. They seem to work extremely well for local businesses like this. And I'm talking not just about the map pack up here, but also the organic listings as well. So if we search our main keyword, which is cleaners Enfield, interesting how Google's changing at the moment, where we've actually got sponsored local listings. Although frankly, there's no reason we can't actually get on there if we do actually build this into a proper service we're getting roi why wouldn't we compete with these people who seem to be able to afford the google ads so we want organic or google ads referral everything but to get back to the point we have the google business profiles on the map pack and then the organic results underneath so citations are normally treated as being a powerful ranking factor for the map pack but they do also help with the organic as well so where do you get them from you can just go on fiverr or something like that i generally use seo builder they came highly recommended for one thing they'll actually spin so rewrite your business de description so each business listing you get is slightly different. It's a bit more unique and they'll also get them indexed for you. So people have run tests on these. I mean, I can index backlinks, no problem at all, index citations, but to have that all done for you is a nice touch. So if we go to citation building packages, you'll see 135 citations for $175. So this is all pretty good value. So once you've purchased a package, this is what it actually looks like. So the business name, let me just double check that. It's definitely Cleaners Enfield. I think the business owner will just put Cleaners Enfield again. Now for the business address, a later date, we probably will do the Google business profile. So make sure you use the actual premises you intend to use for the Google business profile. If you just use a, a mailbox or something like that to this, then you can't use a virtual mailbox for your business profile. It has to be an actual location. Google are very hot on cracking down on virtual offices, virtual mailboxes, things like that. Ideally, it really needs to be the premises where you operate the business. Now, you might be asking if this is a cleaners, you're going out to people, then why do you need a physical location? But it's been said time and again that when you set up your Google business profile, you have a choice between a service area business and a physical location business. And consistently, physical location businesses rank much better, which is really frustrating because you can't just set your overall catchment area on a map. You have to pick this one point where you have access. So it's either going to be your office, your house, something like that, where you can generally receive a postcard to actually verify that address. And then some people, when they're looking to scale beyond their own address, is they're looking at either getting friends or hiring people to actually receive this postcard for them. But that's getting harder and harder. Google's now switching to video verifications after the time where you basically have to go on video and show that you're actually in a business premises, which is a bit of a gray area when it's a business like this, not necessarily a bricks and mortar shop, if you like. But I digress. The point is the address you put in here for your citations, we just want to slam anything in just to get that backlink benefit when we do the citations. But you might as well get the additional mileage from it in terms of when you do your Google business profile, your life will be much easier if you've already got all these citations with the correct address on them. So whether it's your home, whether it's your office, pick that address and stick to it. That's the address you want on the website. You want it in your citations and you want it in your Google business profile and you want to keep that all consistent. I need a phone number as well. So for that, I'm just going to go to yourbusinessnumber.com. Now, most of these business phone number providers, they're just reselling Twilio. So I do have a Twilio account. So I'm now in Twilio. So I said I want to buy a number in the UK. So I can basically go to and grab one of these numbers. Now, there's a theory that having a real local landline number could be a small ranking factor for local search. So I'm ideally, I'm looking for a London number. But like I say, generally I find Twilio a bit of a pain to use. Okay, it's very difficult to actually filter through locations. Can't seem to get London, but I found Harlow here. That's near enough. So we can try buying that one. So basically you have like a flat rental fee, 90 pence per month, and then you're charged for the usage on top of that, which is great because if you don't use it, you don't really pay much. Next, I think you have to fill in a load of verification. Okay, so I bought the phone number. Now we have to configure it. So in the past, this tends to be where it gets. So I'm sure this is actually not that difficult to do, but I've just got to figure out how to actually do it. Whereas 
your business number, you buy it, it forwards to your phone, you're immediately set up within minutes. And I pay about five a month for that. So yes, it's arguably significantly more expensive than Twilio, but it was so quick to do. However, in this case, I think I do like the idea of having a proper landline number. This can't be that difficult to set up. So I can actually always come back for now. I've rented that number. It is mine. So for my citations, I can just use that. And then we're not going to get calls straight away. So I can then go and sort the call forwarding to go to my phone or an agent's phone after that website URL. Obviously the most important part. Description spinning. Let's go with yes. Does it help that much? Probably not, but it's nice to have. Business description. So we want at least 100 words. So I'm just going to go back to ChatGPT. Give me a 150 word business description for local business directories. Now, normally I'd tell ChatGPT to write this in an NLP friendly manner. And part of that would be using entities again. But because we've already got all this text in the article, it's already done pretty well at that. So it's included local areas. It's included things like tenancy cleaning, deep cleaning. So I think we're good. I just need to swap out the, the company name bits. So this is a massive ranking factor as such, but it's just some contextual relevance so that Google can see the page that's linking to the business is talking about the same stuff as the business. Now, part of the joy of using an exact match domain is not only does it rank better, but you can also use it everywhere in terms of your backlinks, your Google business profile, Anywhere that you're not supposed to over-optimize and stuff keywords, well, your brand name is the keyword. It doesn't matter that we have stuffed cleaners multiple times into our business description. Old citations we don't need to worry about, and none of these we need. Company logo is optional, but we have it, so you might as well use it. So we can now review that. Let's just double check that the URL goes to the right price. Yes, it does. So we are good to go. And I just went for the large citation package because it's not that expensive, why not? Next, we're going to do a press release because once we've done citations, the next way to get lots of coverage in a safe and effective manner for Google, but also very cheaply, is a press release. So lots of people think press release are all about getting journalists' attention. Really, for SEO purposes, all we're interested in is the sheer volume of links because these releases will have guaranteed syndication to normally at least 200, 250 websites, normally quite a lot more. And that's guaranteed. So we don't even mind it getting picked up or not. The chances are it won't because business does business isn't really news. But just the fact we're getting an article with our links in it distributed across 250 platforms is really useful. They're no follow links. They're not particularly powerful as such individually. But when we're talking about the volumes we're going for, then it's a great way to actually get going. For a local business like this, we probably don't need much more than that. So a good premium option is Magic PR. So they'll get you on Bloomberg, Yahoo Finance, MSN. So I've got the publications down here with their different tiers. So Associated Press, Business and Science, Digital Journal, Benzinga, MSN is a good one. I basically went to Madge, who runs Magic PR, and said, people are getting these MSN links. How do we get them? So he investigated it. Didn't exactly tell me how, but he incorporated it into his service. So now we can get MSN links quite happily. And Magic PR then have their own network of sites. So that distribution goes much further. So you can see 750 sites here. They also write the press release for you. And Madge is a top SEO. So he actually does a lot of work to help those press releases have maximum power. Another option is Randy at 38 Digital Market. So cheaper, but still very effective. Well, it depends what package you go for. But again, Business Insider, Yahoo News. Or you can just start off with the $97 package. So that's Google News, 50 plus ABC, NBC, Fox News, 50 authority news partners, 100 finance and business sites, and local newswise. So that's a lot of power for $97. And they write it for you as well. You don't have to write it yourself. But today I'm going to use a DIY option, and that is EIN Presswire, where you can see they do quite aggressive volume discounting. Hence, I've actually got quite a lot of credits with them left over. So at the early stage, you might as well go to Randy at 38 Digital Market because you actually get a better deal is written for you because this is the same price and not as good as Randy's service. I'll leave links to all of these below. But on the other hand, when we start getting to the higher tiers, greater volume tiers, the price comes down quite a lot. So at the 25 number batch, the price per release comes down to just $40. So we go to create new release. Now the important thing about this is the maximum is a thousand words. So I still like to use the surfer template in order to optimize the press release so that these press releases have the maximum chance of ranking. If they rank for keywords, your links in them are going to be much more powerful. And you might even do Parasite SEO with your press release. So the press release itself could rank on Google and send you leads. So now I'm going to go back to the surfer chat where we've done everything else. And I'm going to see, write me a 1000 words press release on the launch of Cleaners Enfield Code UK. Now these news wires are quite strict. The press releases shouldn't be promotional. They're only meant to be news. 
ChatGPT does tend to hype it up too much. So we say this should be non-salesy and objective. That's probably all we need. And I'm just going to say, use the entities I gave above. And that's probably all we need. But I'll put it back into the Ceph template and try and optimize it some more. Yeah, this is too hypey. A revolutionary new platform, innovative website. So if you submit something that's too sensational like that, the editors come back to you and say, it's really good. They give you genuine feedback and it says, you need to remove this and this and this. And you can actually just put that into ChatGPT and say, make these changes. But let's try and save time and get it right the first time around. So I'll just let this finish writing. So now I'm just going to go back and say, this is too sensational. This should be plain language news reporting without hype. There we go. New platform, clean as Enfield launches to serve community. Yeah, this is much better. So meanwhile, we need to delete everything that's already in the serve template because we're going to reuse it. And now hopefully we've still got enough words to use the insert terms feature. No, it's only 427 words. So I'm going to say, give me an additional five paragraphs after the future plans section. And hopefully that will then understand it just needs to expand it, which it seems to be doing very well. So we've got user experience, eco-friendly commitment, community engagement. So if we copy that, hopefully we've got a much more substantial article now. Now I go back and just add that in here. So hey, that's a bit better. Can we use the insert terms feature? It seems like we can. This feature does have kind of a limit. You need more than 50% of the word count in order to make that work. And we've only just got over 50%. So again, we just do accept, accept, accept. So it's only 49. It's never going to be that high because we don't have a long enough article, but that's the limit of the press release distribution platform. Let's just check all these links work. And especially for a first press release like this, you're probably best off just using brand name and text. Like So the text of the link is the URL or the brand name. So we copy all of that. And now we go to impress wire. The formatting goes as well, but that's not a problem. We just take out that title to add it to the correct section. And we want immediate release location, London, United Kingdom. So I'll put Enfield in London. Now, keywords, like I said, we want the URL. Now, really, that's all we need. But let's move in cleaning services. We might as well use our, we've been given three links. So cleaning services, let's go with tenancy cleaning. And it's just going to be the same URL for all of them. If you've got different landing pages targeting different keywords, then it's a good idea to have one link page in this case. So if we had an end of tenancy cleaning page and a deep cleaning page, then we'd fill this in accordingly. So deep cleaning and tenancy cleaning, and then those landing pages with their corresponding link. But I didn't see a big search volume for deep cleaning Enfield, anything like that. So I just want all this power to go to the homepage saying book your cleaner in Enfield. Now this address information is basically the same as a citation. So again, we want to keep it consistent. So it should be cleaners Enfield. And I can just grab all this from the citation we've already submitted. We don't have any social media. Prime image, we'll just add the logo. That's added. Logo, alt text, cleaners Enfield. And image name, cleaners Enfield. Now later on, you can actually embed your Google Map in the press release, but we don't have a Google business profile yet, so we can't do that. But you can do multiple press releases, it's not a big issue. So now we can preview that. A new platform, cleanersenfield.co.uk launches to serve Enfield community. Actually, there is one thing we've forgotten here that we do actually want to rank for cleaning jobs Enfield. So very quickly, let's do that. So once again, we want to clarify what the exact keyword is. Cleaning jobs Enfield, that's got the most volume. I've created a surfer template for that. And we're going to use those requirements to prime ChatGPT. So let's have a look. So we only need a thousand words, copy all. And we can basically prime ChatGPT with what the purpose of this is. We want a separate page on the website advertising vacancies. Write 1000 words as a long form article using the following indices. So this will allow us to create an optimized page. Now, to be honest, it's actually a very competitive search. We've got read, total jobs, indeed, even gov.uk, all of those right at the top of Google. So we're quite unlikely to rank for it. There's a DR of 42 down here, so that might help. We've also got the topical relevance plus the local relevance of the domain. To be honest, it's probably easier for us just to list a job on Indeed than actually try and rank for this. But to give you an idea of how we can use the press release to power this page up, I might as well show you. So this is looking pretty good. So let's see if this is long enough now. Now we go back to our surfer template, 788 words. So that's enough. Now we just put in our heading of cleaning jobs Enfield because the heading needs to be the keyword. And then we do insert terms. We're already at 74, so that's ahead of the competition. So while we wait for that to happen, how do we add a new page? We do new and then page. Now this isn't going to look as pretty as our homepage because we designed that in Elementor. 
But for now, I just want text in the page so I can publish this press release and we'll apply all of these. No change in the content score, so that's fine. Copy those back to the website, cleaning jobs Enfield. And going back to Yoast, it's important that the slug, so that's what appears after the slash in the URL is the keyword. So cleaning jobs Enfield publish. Once that's done, we've got that URL, which is correct. We can now go back to our press release. I'll just ask ChatGPT for the press release, write one paragraph about our cleaning jobs in Enfield. So if we just go back to edit the press release, we can change one of those links to the clean jobs Enfield URL. And again, we want rich angst text, cleaning jobs Enfield. And now we just add this paragraph to the text with the heading cleaning jobs. Enfield. And we just need to make sure we include the text of cleaning jobs Enfield so that this link actually works. So residential and commercial settings for anyone looking for cleaning jobs Enfield. We'll see if that makes it through the editors. So preview press release again. So we have our link to the homepage. We have that secondary link to the homepage. And down here, we should have a link to the jobs page. Ah, it's used the heading. That's why. So that's all good. And we've actually embedded the website as an iframe as well. So choose your distribution. And these I just add in as many as I can. I think consumer goods, business and economy is always a good one. Real estate and property management, that works. Waste management, I guess. Might go for building and construction. And then for countries, got United Kingdom. Might as well go for United States as well. Because I believe these do actually impact how many publications you get distributed. So you might as well grab whichever you can. Okay, so that's good to go. Submit for editorial approval. So that's gone through. And then if it gets approved, we'll then get the full distribution report showing all the places it's gone. Now, the key thing for us will be especially looking at the domain rating metric, because that's how powerful the URL is based on its backlinks. Intriguingly, we've already got 74 backlinks from 29 referring domains. So someone else clearly had this domain before and looks like they built some probably spammy, not particularly high quality links. So we're looking for movements in these based on the citations and the press release which will tell us that our backlinks are getting off the ground. After that, I'd recommend high quality outreach based links where we're not going for volume, we're going for quality and power. That's what we do in my link building agency. We basically reach out to thousands of high quality websites every week and negotiate on behalf of our clients to get high quality mentions in good publications. So you only work with a minimum DR of 30, a minimum traffic of 1000 and conduct a load of screening checks to make sure those links have not been manipulated anyway, and that they're good, powerful media sources that are actually going to move the needle.